What's up guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reframe your video using Filmora 13. Okay, so supposing that you're filming your video in landscape mode or horizontal mode and you want to convert it into vertical video using Filmora 13, there's an option for you. It is Filmora Auto Reframe. So I think it is very interesting to use this function in Filmora 13. By the way, my name is Jackie. I'm from Vietnam. I've been making Filmora tutorial here on YouTube for about six years. So if you are new here, consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And if you don't have Filmora yet, just go ahead to the link in the description. They are offering 20% discount coupon to save your money for Easter holiday. Okay, so you can purchase Filmora Perpetual Plan at 20% off. So the price is 63.99 only. And for cross-platform annual plan, it is 42.49 US dollar only. Okay, and there's a creative access yearly plan, which is 79.99 US dollar. Normally, it is 99.99 US dollar, which is 100 US dollar per year. Okay, and if this deal is by, I still have 20% exclusive coupon for you. So check out all the information I put in my video description. Okay, so let's go to Filmora 13. Okay, and this is the sub page of my Filmora 13.2.8 and if you want to use the auto reframe function, you want to go back to the start page of the program and then you want to click here, click here again and you see this auto reframe, okay, just click here to open a new window and being mentioned that with this version, you can use the auto reframe function for multiple video, not only one video. Okay, and this is the auto reframe window and then you can drag and drop your media here to start reframing. By the way, I'm going to click here import. Okay, and then I can import multiple video on my computer. Just select all of them and then click open. And now we have the first video and this is the second video. It's just an example of me. So go in inside my video. I think it's stupid by the way. We want to select the video first here on the timeline and then we want to select the aspect ratio right here. So normally we will want to convert a horizontal video which is in 16 by 9 to 9 by 16 or 1 on 1 aspect ratio. By the way, you can select different aspect ratio right here. For me, I can select 9 by 16 and for the motion speed, there are two options for you, slow or fast. So you want to select an option here. If your object in the frame is moving too fast, you want to select fast or you can just leave it by default. Select auto, okay? Normally I will select auto. And then you want to click here, analyze to analyze the video. Okay, something like this. And then after that, the program will analyze your video and create some keyframe or stuff like that to to mark the frame inside the video and being mentioned that this function need a very powerful computer so if your computer is not strong enough do not use this function okay otherwise it will be lucky like hell okay okay so when the processing is finished you can preview the video and also adjust the keyframe also, by the way, my computer is not strong enough, so it is very difficult for me to review the video and adjust the frame here. For example, if you play here, the first video, and then you want to adjust this frame, it will create a new keyframe for you right here. So it is very convenient. If you want to adjust the frame following your subject, okay, and it do the same job for the second video also. So if you have the video here, you can also adjust the frame right here. So it will create a new keyframe for the video. And now you want to import more video for auto reframe. You can also click the import button. And down here, you have the adjust frame option. If you turn off this one, it will be just a crop area. Okay, so it will just crop the video or crop the frame to vertical video. It will not add keyframe and follow the movement of the subject inside your video. So do not turn off this option. Okay, and finally, you can just click here to export the video to convert to horizontal video into to vertical video. Okay, for example, I can just click the export button and then I can name it example. And this is the location, so we can save it in this location. By the way, we want to click the export button and wait a few minutes. After I finish, I will show you the final result. Okay.
Alright, so this is how to use the new auto reframe option in Filmora 13. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.